Okay. Now we want to load up some audio. So we want to be able to load audio files so that we can read the, the samples, read the, the, the audio data bit by bit by bit. And we're gonna, we, want to, we want to have some playback as well. So we want to be able to hear the file, we want to be able to play it, and we also want to be able to extract the, the, the data uh, bit by bit by bit, like live. Like we want to be able to grab that data because the next step after this is we're going to plot that data. That's why we created a window so we can actually visually display everything. So we're going to create a, a source object or a, a class. So tree, so we can see it. We've got utils and window in our app so far. And we're going to create a new file called source. And we're going to build out a class that's going to handle everything for us. So you can code along, copy along. We're going to need to import, uh, we're going to need to install some software as well. But we'll get to that. subclass our source so we're going to make we're going to have more than we're going to have two different ways of taking input we're going to take a file that's going to be one way so we'll subclass our source and there's going to be another way as well we're going to take input from our mic our microphone as well Now we're gonna implement our file first, and then we'll get to our microphone a little bit later. We're gonna in, we're gonna take in a file, and then we're going to we're going to we're going to take the data that we get from the file, and we're going to uh, display it. We're gonna we're gonna output the audio wave in our window, and then once we can see it and it all looks good, and we can we can we can we can watch the audio wave audio wave while hearing our our playback, then we're going to come and implement our microphone after that. So we'll get to that. Cool. Now we want to instantiate our file object that we just created in our main, if when we when we init, when we call this particular file, our source file, so we do that with an if name is equal to main, then we want to play some audio. So we'll grab a file, a file name. We need to grab a file first. So file name, that's the first thing. So the way I'm gonna do that is I found something hosted by the University of Illinois, Chicago, I believe. And I, uh, this is just a collection of sample files. I'm gonna grab this one here called the Gettysburg, it's the, the Gettysburg Address for all of my American friends. Four friend. score and seven years now. ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all... So that's it. It's a web file. I believe it is a public, you know, public use, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if I'm wrong, oops, I'm really sorry. But I'm just going to save that. And that's just going to save to my downloads. And once we have it, I'm going to come out here and we're going to create a new folder. And that folder is going to be called audio. So we're going to say make dir audio. In tree and so I've got a new empty audio folder here and I'm going to copy that Gettysburg WAV into our audio there we go we've got it we've got it here you know we can use it and you know you don't have to use the Gettysburg WAV you can use anything you want um, I'm going to put the link to that particular file in the description and shout out to the University of Illinois, 
now we're going now we've got that now we can load that up so we're going to go we're going to state the path and the path is from from here from our root so you can see because we run our files from this this root folder we're not going to say just load gettysburg we need to from here specifically go audio slash gettysburg Gettysburg.lab. Gettysburg.lab. Yeah. Sweet. Now we create our source from our file and we give it the file name. And that should do it. It will actually fail, which we'll see why. First, we've got to go to our make file and we need to create a new. We just need to copy this target and we need to change it from window to source. Save that. And then when we go make source, ah, that's right. We need to install some software first. So we need to activate our virtual environment first. Source vem bin activate. We need to install Pi Audio. and LibRosa. And on Linux, you may or may not need to install the Pulse Audio um, package from apt. Uh, on Mac, it, you just go brew install Pulse Audio, no spaces. Uh, I'll show you, we'll, we'll make sure that we have it on Linux in a moment when this finishes. Ah, there's a lot of packages, okay. And then sudo apt install pulse audio for a Linux machine. And I already had it, uh, I already knew I already had it, but you will need that as well. And then if you are on Mac OS X, you're just gonna go brew install Pulse Audio instead. Okay, now let's try again. Make source. Okay, so that just worked, but the problem is it was running in a different thread and our main thread is not waiting for, like it's not waiting for the audio. So we need to keep it alive for that to happen. And all these um, printouts, these are, these are printed, from, printed to standard error. They're kind of annoying. I think we'll just keep them there for now. Um, we can hide them, uh, but it's kind of annoying, but I might do that later if, if it bugs me enough. So, what we need to do is to keep this open and alive, we're going to use the time.sleep for 10 seconds. Oh, well, yeah, five seconds. And what's going to happen is it's going to play for five seconds and then the, the program is going to terminate and it's going to in turn terminate the thread as well. So I'll save that and run source. Four score and seven years ago. Our fathers brought forth on this continent a new name. There we go. So it's working. We're able to load audio successfully. And it's okay that we can only use it in this weird way alone because what we're going to do is we're going to use it in the context of QT from our window. And our window will be the main thread that stays open. And then playing the audio in a different thread will be totally fine. It won't, it won't affect us negatively or anything like that. Um, so yeah, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our, our app. We're going to subclass our window and we're going to load up our audio, uh, our file source here. And then we're going to start displaying an audio wave on the, on the screen. So we're going to get to something visual and something awesome next.